from Lincoln City Parks and Recreation. Welcome to Cardio Circuit. Today's movement experience is a 30 minute moderate to high intensity interval circuit. You will need an exercise mat, a sturdy chair, and some dumbbells or something comparable with a little weight to it, maybe a large water bottle or jug of tea, something that gives you a little weight, something to lift. We are going to do five rounds, one minute of cardio, we've got 30 seconds of two different moves each, and then a minute and a half of strength training, two separate moves, 45 seconds each. That'll get our heart rate up and will get us moving. As with any exercise program, remember to follow your doctor's guidelines. Adjust the exercises as necessary and move at a challenging yet comfortable pace. Let's get started. All right, we're going to get this workout started. Starting with our warm up, about five minutes, get ready to go. We've got some intervals coming in front of us. So let's keep up with our march. Elbows pulling back, nice and tall. Remember, you can do this low impact. You can go a little more high impact if that's comfortable for you. Or you could always march or do several of these moves in a chair. Just adjust so you're comfortable. Listen to your body throughout. Let's take our march wide. Out, 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 out. Just reaching forward. Maybe a little punch. Slowing down our march. Wide knee taps. Just tap, 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 tap. Nice and tall, rotate. Warming up our spine. Wide march again. Starting to notice your breath a little bit. And wide knee taps. Tap, tap. Four more. Three. And two. Let's go to a step touch. Step together, step together. Four more, three, two. Let's step to our right, two times. To the left, two times, two times. Step together, step together. Let's go back to the step touch. Good. Four more sets. Three, two, switch to a leg curl. Curl, curl. Pulling back, a little bit of a row. As your elbows pull back, lifting and opening up our chest. Make sure your knees are pointing straight down at the floor. Four, three, two. Now do a double curl. Double, double, double. All right, watch this. Weight shift, weight shift. As it's added overhead reach. You wanna add a little bit of a squat. You can go a little bit lower. There we go. Four, three, two. Now just squat on your spot. Squat and up, squat and up. Make sure you're reaching back into your seat. Sink into your heels. Three more, two. Now squat with the knee lift. Squat with the knee, squat with the knee. Four to go, three, two, next up is our 
V-step. Step front, front, back, back. Front, front, back, back. Wide, wide, narrow, narrow. Wide, wide, narrow, narrow. If you've ever done step, you know this step well. Out, out, in, in. Wide, wide, narrow, narrow. So remember, you can always pick up your feet. I'm feeling more energetic today. Good. Any arms you want to do. Good. Just three more sets. Two. All right, let's jump rope. Jump, jump, jump. So you can do a weight shift and lift up a heel. You can do that in your chair as well. Or a double foot. Or you can actually jump a little bit. Gentle hop. Maybe it's a one hop. Maybe it's a two-footed two hop. Or you can freestyle. Good. Hopefully your heart rate is up. Let's come back into our march and we'll get ready for our intervals. All right, welcome to our circuit. We're going to do five rounds today. Our first round is going to be a minute of cardio where we're just going to do a jog or a march and then a tire run, out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in, 30 seconds each. For our two exercises for strength, we're going to do burpees and push-ups. So burpees, you can have a sturdy chair or a counter, step back into a plank, step in and come up. Option number one. Option number two, you can go down, hop back, hop in and come up, or you can go all the way down to the ground, shoot back, shoot in, and come back up. Then for the push-ups, well, we know push-ups, you can be on a chair, on a sturdy counter, you can come down to your knees, or you can do full-on push-ups, down and up. So are we ready? We're going to start our timer in five, four, three, two, here we go, marching, or jogging in place. Just pace yourself to where you are challenged, but it's doable. Find the impact, the pace, the challenge that is beneficial for you right now. We got seven seconds. Five, four, three, two, tire run. Out, out, in, in. You can step this. You can jog this. Fast feet. Or you can do this in the chair. Out, out, in, in. It's just 30 seconds. There we go, it's self-paced. Got 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two. Okay, let's get into burpees. So remember, you can use the chair. Here we go, 45 seconds. Stepping back, in and up. Stepping back, in and up. A sturdy chair, table, countertop can work. You can be hopping back. Think about your alignment. Or you can go all the way to the floor. Really feeling it now. Back, in, and up. You can even do a one foot back at a time step. If you wanna go down into the floor. Almost there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Okay, you can stay down on the ground or come to the chair. It's push-ups. Maybe use the back of the chair or a sturdy wall. Here we go. Lean in and out, in and out. Maybe you wanna come down to your knees. You come right here, down and up. Inhale down, exhale up. Or you can take your knees up. Full on push ups. There we go. <sighs> Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. And a little bit of rest. That was round one. Let's.
Let's go on to round two. Round two, here we go. Round two is going to be a jumping jack. You can do a half jack, a full on jumping jack, or you can do a jack in the chair, out and in. And then we'll go into the V step, out, out, in, in, front, front, back, back, that we did before. And then we'll go into our squats, holding some dumbbells, squat, pressing up. If you don't have a dumbbell, maybe use a water bottle or a jug of tea. This weighs about four pounds, and you can go down and up like that. Second exercise is a lunge. We are lunging to the front, other leg to the front, then we go to the side, side, and then to the back, to the back. Let's get ready for jumping jacks. One minute starts in three, two, here we go. Half jacks or full jacks, side to side. Or you can do half and half, low impact to high impact. We're at the halfway point, so I'm gonna change up. Pushing our intensity a little bit. Almost there, three, two, one, let's do our V-step. Front, front, back, back. Wide, wide, narrow, narrow. Good, this is all self-paced. No need to try to move to the beat. No need to try copying me. Do what you feel right now. Front, front, back, back. You can even add a spring to your step. Out, out, in, in. You got five seconds to go. Four, three, Two, great, let's grab our dumbbells, our jug of tea, a heavy book. We've got our hands in front of our shoulders. Come to a squat down. As you lift up, push up to the sky. Inhale, exhale. Make sure your breathing matches your movement. You're reaching back into your seat. Pressing up. Good. Three, two, let's put our weights down and go to our lunges. Forward, forward, to the side, to the side, to the back. Listen to your knees. Only dip as far down as is comfortable. Imagine you do have a book balanced on the top of your head, so we avoid leaning forward. Looks like we've got time for another set. We're doing well, let's do a bonus set. Two more lunges to the back. And rest. Round two complete. Round three is a shuffle side to side and then a back toe tap with the front reach. So the shuffle can just be a side step if you prefer to do that, or you can shuffle shuffle side to side and then the back toe tap with a diagonal reach just extending to the back lengthening out for the strength component it's a row you can either squat come to a lunge or you can sit in your chair hinging forward and we're pulling our arms back back and forward. Exercise number two is a side bend. You can hold both weights in your hand or maybe one big jug of milk or orange juice and just bend it to the side and center. We'll do a few on each side. With that, let's get in position. Then get started. In four, three, side to side shuffle 
or side to side step. You might be able to go a little further side to side if you've got a little more space than I do. You can get a little bit lower, pretend it's a basketball drill. Good, side to side. Or side stepping. Three, two, okay, diagonal, tap to the back, reaching across. Lengthen, recruit your glutes. Reach, reach, reach. If you're in the chair, you can sit and just do the reach. It's self-paced. Almost there. Counting down, four, three, two. Let's do our row. Seated or standing squat or a front lunge. Nice long spine, pull back. Reach forward, pull back. So this is option one. Option two, come into a lunge that might feel more stable. Or option three, in chair, hinging forward. 45 degree angle, pulling back. Let's keep an eye on our time. We're really close, just 15 more seconds. Stabilizing our trunk, pulling our elbows back, little shoulder squeeze. Four, three, two, and you can be seated or standing for this, putting both weights in our hand. If you can hold both or you can just hold one, we're bending to the side and coming up to neutral. Feel this in your core, stabilize. You're picking up a suitcase, a heavy bag of groceries, perhaps. We'll do each side, of course. Coming up on the halfway point. Let's switch to the other side. Find your alignment, shoulders back and down. Here we go. Inhaling down, exhale as you come up to neutral. Exhaling through our mouth because we're exerting here. Almost there. Eight seconds. Five, four, three, two, and that's round three. Okay, you can get to the chair, 
for a knee run, a low impact mountain climber, or get down on the floor, nice neutral spine, and run. You can even go slow, dropping our shoulders into our back pockets. Good. Maybe you want to do some running, some stepping. 45 seconds can be a long time. Almost there. Four, three, two. All right, stay down on the mat. All fours. Line up a neutral spine. Opposite arm and leg reach. You can lift your limbs parallel to the floor or tap your back toe down. That makes the balance a little bit easier. You can go at whatever pace you like. If you go slower, it's more balanced. Really think about your alignment. Just a couple more. We'll be rolling onto our back in a moment. It is time. Let's flip over. Arms straight up, knees are bent 90 degrees, opposite arm and leg, here we go. Very similar to what we did earlier. We just changed our position. So you can keep a bent knee, or you can do more of an extended leg. That's a longer lever, that's more challenging. Good, you're getting close. Bridge on our back, feet 
feet on the floor, hip distance apart, pressing into our feet, lifting up and lower. Feel your glutes squeezing on the lift. If you feel pressure in your low back, that's a sign you've gone too high. Or you lift as high as it's comfortable for you. As we reach the halfway point, you can keep going up and down or lift and hold. Hands can be down by your side or you can lace your fingers together, pointing them up toward the ceiling. Trying to keep our weight equal in both feet. Home stretch right here. Four, three, two, and releasing down. We did it. That was five rounds of intervals. Let's get ready for our stretch. I'll see you up in the chair. Now that we're seated, let's do our final stretch. Starting with our hamstrings, scooting to the front of our chair. One heel is placed in front. Our hands are on our opposite thigh. Lifting our chest and hinging forward until we feel the stretch in the back of our thigh. Avoid rounding over or collapsing your chest. Just stay lifted and tall. If our toes angle in toward our shin, we'll feel a little extra stretch in our calf. Changing sides. Lifting up, hinging forward, just to the comfortable edge. Maybe our toes angle back in. Rising up, let's do a quarter turn to one side. Half of our seat is on the chair, the other half covers up. And as we hold onto the chair for support, dropping our knee down so our kneecap is toward the floor, tucking our tailbone under, opening up the front of our hip. Bring our leg up, a half, a half turn to the other side. Just drop our knee down, a pelvic tilt, tuck your tail between your legs. We should feel this through our hip flexors, down to our quadriceps. chair, our other arm reaching up and over, lifting through our rib cage. Changing sides. center, let's put our fingertips, our, lace our fingers together, pull forward, and that opens up our shoulder blades. As we release, let's bring our hands behind, lifting up through our chest, pulling back and pointing our fingers behind, and we should feel the stretch through our chest and shoulders, down the front of our arms and into our wrists.
Hence our hands release down, rolling our shoulders back. Let's bring our shoulders up, back, and down, reaching our hands up toward the sky. Exhaling down. Once again, our two hands join together, lowering to our heart. And namaste. Thank you for working so hard with me today. We'll see you next time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, Lincoln City Parks and Recreation, for more videos.